I'm here at the airport again, Narita Airport, on my way to catch another flight. I have another adventure. <laughs> Here at Myeongdong Station, I've got a nice cold brew. Korean cold brew is legit. Anyway, cool story, why I'm at the train station. Have a bit of activities to do today, including my favorite pastime, so let's go. First part of this day, well, activity. Beautiful Han River, right across the road. These bad boys right here. So getting a bike here is pretty easy. You just have to download this thing called the Seoul Bike app. Pretty much have so many bikes all over Seoul, all over town. Scan the QR code. Bike is pretty much unlocked. Just look at that beautiful view. Han River right there. It is so blessed to be back in Korea, bro, honestly. It's such a, it's been like seven years for me. I think I just needed a break from Japan and Tokyo. Enjoy life. Honestly, this year's been a blur, probably the most chaotic but crazy, most spontaneous year of my life, but no regrets, I've just enjoyed it so much and whew, happy. Just finished the ride, I think it was like 10 to 15 kilometers, which is pretty decent. And I pretty much parked the bikes up at this place, Bangwa. Yeah, I think there's a train station nearby as well. Then I know what it's like this life to live forever. Then I know what it's like this life to live forever. Then I know what it's like to be the man forever. Like the had his dance forever. Just made it to Hongguk University, aka Hongdae, one of my favorite neighborhoods in Seoul. Shout out to my boy Keith. We stayed here last summer in 2015 in a hostel and uh, it was a lot of fun. But we're here today for one mission, one mission only, and that is to, of course, vintage shop. So heading to the first shop now. Ready as you come in, there's 20% off Kaha jackets. Look at this beautiful outer stitching. Saw some of these in Shimuki Tozawa as well, but just real like sort of patchwork. So good. Got these Wranglers for 29,000 bar and these car hats for 45,000. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna cop both of these. Great store bro, great store. Just got out of 4F Vintage, such a good start to be honest, I wasn't expecting that at all. Pop those two pairs of pants for the one Wrangler jeans and then the Carhartt jeans as well. I am Vintage next shop, middle of Hongdae. Gonna check it out and uh, see if there's anything good. Got some YSL, vintage YSL bombers. This looks like they're about 148k, so it's pretty good. Capitalish. Is that 248? Super, super impressed so far with the Seoul thrifting scene, honestly. Like, last time I was here, I guess I was still beginning my thrift sort of second hand journey. But doing it now, 2022, bro, honestly, on point. Pricing is real affordable. I'm excited, there was two shops down now. Onto the third one. Next shop here is called Ultra Vintage. Again, it's kind of in that similar area. I'm gonna go inside, check it out, and see what type of stuff they have. Let's go. Very nice. One forty-eight k for a barber jacket. Actually, pretty good. Good and good price. There's a real mean uh, X large kind of Harrington, so nice as well, but a bit too small because I'm so big, you know. Yeah. Bit of horsepower and white for sure. Here they're about 54k. Next shop is Mr. Vintage. Kind of just walked down where Ultra was, down to here. Again, probably going to be similar vibes. It feels like compared to Tokyo or Thailand, shops here aren't really curated as much. Hey. 
inside vintage santa super good actually and real friendly st store owners the guy actually came up to me and said you know if you follow us on instagram give you 20 percent off so i think that's a general kind of rule so i followed them end up copying something i get 20 percent off so that's oh, kind of nylon sprays real nice nike tick there shit Outside the next shop, Hongdae Vintage, and apparently this one's special because it's open 24-7, so clubbing or something and then go here, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's go inside. Motor racing, guys sort of work where... Uh, military vibes, They're fleecy, more military, shirts, cargo section, shit, so good man. The club out here, Aura, next to that is this cool shop over here, I don't know the name, but uh, looks decent. Hong day on a Sunday bro. Classic Korean barbecue. All the different accoutrements, side dishes, and there's a bit of beef on the grill as well, so gonna enjoy. <laughs> Just a quick snack after the Korean barbecue. Just kind of a chicken skewer. 3,500, not too bad. Uh, this is this place on the main road of Hongdae, so I'm gonna sample it, give it a go. in a good way. No, I love it. Around 5 p.m. and made it to a place called Dongmyo Flea Market. Real sort of famous flea market here in Seoul, and it's pretty much a street full or an area full of clothing, antique goods. I think it stretches right down there, so there's a lot to cover. Just gonna browse with my brothers and sisters and uh, see what I can find. <laughs> First impression is definitely more of a flea market vibe for sure in terms of it's kind of free for all, it's very open. People just literally just piling up, lining up and just getting clothes and looking for clothes. Very, very different from how Thailand or Bangkok define flea markets. This alleyway kind of looks like it has a few more classic kind of curated shops or branded shops at least. Some Reebok and Patagonia and Dickies in this place. I don't know the name. But again, it's so cheap bro, like 20 and 30 bucks. Uh, sold out as another shop here as well, more sort of sportswear, sprays, that kind of a genre of clothing. This kind of alleyway street it really reminds me of Ueno, if you guys have been to Ueno before in Tokyo. This looks more like it. Nice. National Geographic. There's a store for it as well. Pretty good, pretty good quality, kind of like North Facey. A bit too small, but love the colour. in a cab. The weather is just crazy so from pretty much 8pm onwards the whole day tomorrow it's negative 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 so we have this restaurant called Kyung <laughs> Song here in Phoenix and pretty good menu and I'm gonna try this short beef rib soup and I add some mandu dumplings into it as well so Here's the beef short rib, and I got my dumplings. It's actually really nice, really just pure kind of kind of broth. Just finished that real mean dinner, and about to go to the last shop for today. This isn't really vintage, but 
If you guys have been to Korea before, this place is pretty decent. It's called A-Land. Definitely a throwback and a lot of memories here. This place definitely changed my fashion, you know, 2015, seven years ago, and really got into more wide and loose fits after that. So when I was first here, so I'm gonna mask up and I go inside. And the way they usually format the stores is by brand. So they've got different sort of Korean brands here, all branded. Really sort of modern. I think the Korean sort of interpretation of street style and vintage as well. This brand Splish is go-to if you are looking, if you are a bit lost here. Definitely always have really good garments, kind of, I hate using the word, but it is quite trendy type of stuff. And the cut is quite nice as well. Looking at this section here, looks like there's more vintage stuff, which is pretty cool. This vest is so nice. Yo, the vest is actually real nice fit. Well, I might actually get it. Shit, it's pretty good. Just finished shopping at a -Land and Coex. Everything closes at 10. It's kind of snowing a little bit. Oh, you can see it on camera, it's cool. It's super cold, man. My legs are freezing. Bit of snow in my jacket, kind of cool. Something you don't really get back home, so it's making the most of it. Just made it back to Tokyo. Korea was crazy. Back to reality, bro. Hope you enjoyed that shopping episode in Seoul. And I think you enjoyed it. See you in the next next video.